Select and unwrap materials and equipment prior to starting the bandage. Select a small amount of padding for placing between the toes. Select a conforming bandage. Select a synthetic padding bandage. Select a protective layer. Select a wound dressing pad. Select a pair of scissors. Place the patient in lateral recumbency with the affected limb uppermost. Ask your assistant to support the affected limb to facilitate bandaging. Apply padding between the toes as far as possible on your model. Apply the wound dressing with the correct side facing the wound. This is shiny side down. Ensure this is applied aseptically. Apply a padding layer over the limb. Include the foot and elbow, ensuring you are handling the limb gently. Bandage distally to proximally. Apply the conforming bandage, ensuring there is a reasonable amount of tension. Ensure the previous third of the layer is covered by the next layer of bandage. And again, bandage distally to proximally, ensuring the foot and the elbow are included. Apply the final protective layer, ensuring you have loosened the bandage before laying it. Ensure there is no tension or tightness in this layer. Again, for the outer protective layer, apply distally to proximally. 
ensure the foot and elbow is included in this final protective layer. Check suitable tension of the bandage, checking it is not too loose or too tight all of the way up the bandage. Use two fingers at the top of the bandage to check that the top is not too tight or too loose. Finally, check the bandage is neat and that there are no pieces of padding showing or bandage showing. Select and unwrap materials and equipment prior to starting the bandage. Select a small amount of padding to place between the toes. Select synthetic padding bandage. Select a conforming bandage. Select a protective layer. Select a pair of scissors. Select an appropriate size splint. This should incorporate the carpus and the elbow. Place the patient in lateral recumbency with the affected limb uppermost. Ask your assistant to support the affected limb to facilitate bandaging. Please can ask you to restrain my patient, placing a hand over his head and holding up the leg for me, please. Apply padding between the toes as far as possible on your model. Apply the padding layer over the limb to include the foot and elbow. Bandage distally to proximally and handle the limb gently. Apply the splint to the caudal aspect of the limb, ensuring the splint includes the elbow and includes the carpus. Apply a conforming bandage over the top of the splint using adequate tension and including the foot and elbow. Again, bandage distally to proximally.
Apply an outer protective layer. Check suitable tension of the bandage. Pulling out and laying the bandage without any tension from the foot to the top along the length of the leg. Use two fingers to check the tension at the top. Check the bandage is neat and no pieces of padding or bandage material is showing. Select and unwrap materials and equipment prior to starting the bandage. Select a small amount of padding. Select a synthetic bandage. Select a conforming bandage. Select a protective layer. Select a pair of scissors. Select a wound dressing. Ask your assistant to hold the patient's head up to facilitate bandaging. Apply padding to the top of the patient's head. Apply wound dressing with correct side facing the wound. This is the shiny side down. Ensure the dressing is applied in an aseptic manner, only touching the dressing at the edges. Fold the affected ear up onto the padding. Cover the ear with further padding. Apply a layer of synthetic padding in a figure of eight pattern around the head with the unaffected ear exposed. Check the airway is not restricted. Apply a conforming bandage in a figure of eight fashion around the head with the unaffected ear exposed.
Again, check the airway is not restricted. Apply an outer protective layer in a figure of eight fashion. Around the head with the unaffected ear exposed. Check suitable tension of the bandage. This should be secure, but allow the animal to function normally. And again, check the airway is not restricted. Check the bandage is neat with no exposed padding or underlying bandage showing. Mark the position of the ear using a marker pen.